Hello. Hey guys, how's it going? Josh here. And Michelle. And we are Adventures Day. Adventures Ahead. Adventures Ahead. That's right. <laughs> you okay? I just boggled it. <laughs> Today um, we're talking about our favorite specialty dining on a cruise. Right. So now there is a caveat here because there are some specialty restaurants that we haven't had the opportunity to go to or just weren't on ships that we were on yet or that aren't available yet, mm -hmm. I think, because they're just on the Mardi Gras. So we will say those after we talk about ours. Yeah, so let's so, start with the ones that we haven't even been Oh, okay, yet. okay. These are the ones that we haven't. So there's Emerald's Bistro uh, 1396, and that is on the Mardi Gras. And if we go on the Mardi Gras, which I hope we do sooner rather than later, we will try Emerald's Restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, that's just something we haven't been able to try uh, the next one is a uh, Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse. Now, I know that is on some of the Carnival ships. It hasn't been on any ships that we've been on. No, they've had like the, you know, the barbecue, yeah, but the not free the sit-down restaurant. Not, not, these are all, you know, for a cost. Charge. These are all cost restaurants. So the dinner is an extra car charge, and we have not tried it. Um, I hope it's better than the barbecue they offer that you just walk up and it's free because yeah. that is not very good in my opinion. No. It's just not. The next one is Banzai Tempanyaki. We'd love to try yes. it. Yes, yep. uh, Just haven't been on a ship that has that yet. Yeah, we want to try that for sure. <laughs> That's on the Mardi Gras as well. So, and it's limited, I think, too. Yeah. So, um, and then the next one is one that we have not tried because... And they also have no desire to try. Yeah, we have no desire to try it, and it has been on, like, basically every ship we've been on. Yeah. But it is Green Eggs and Ham Breakfast. Uh, I have no desire. Kids. I think it's just for kids. I know some adults go to it because it's whatever, but we have no desire to go no. to the Green Eggs and Hams. I think it's only, like, a $5 upcharge. It is. But, I mean, it's just... We're good. Eggs and Ham... So, no. No, it's just breakfast. It's, oh. It's Dr. Seuss themed. Okay. Anyway. Okay, so now Those are the ones we haven't been to. That's so, right. we're not including those in yes. our favorite specialty dining. That's right. So, let's talk about the ones we have been to. We've been to the steakhouse. Very good. Every time I've been there, I've had a good meal. Mm -hmm. You have to? It's too much food. Ma so Some the, of their sides are sometimes I'd like, say the first two times we went there, you know, we paid. The last two times I we went there, it was comped by the casino. So, and a lot of the times with that, they um, they run out of comp steakhouses because they just fill up. But if you if you know you're going to be playing in the casino, you, what you do is you make reservations at the beginning and then ask for the comp meal towards the end. And they're like, "Oh, we're out," and I'm like, "Well, I already have reservations there." And they're like, "Okay, we'll call over and we get it comp for you." Yep. So that's how you play Pro that tip. game. That's how you play that game. The uh, next uh, specialty restaurant is the Seafood Shack. Yes, Seafood Shack. We've eaten there um, just... Twice. Twice. On the, on the Magic. Now, I think there was another ship that had it. The Glory. The Glory. But we did not eat there. Because, Either time we were on the Glory. Right. Because I don't know why. Because we were dum-dums. Yeah. <laughs> seafood Shack, phenomenal food. Now, I will say this about the Seafood Shack. It does run out of things. Yeah. So if you go there thinking you're going to get something on the menu, you might not. Because we went there to get lobster rolls out. <laughs> and so then we had to get other stuff. And then we got one thing that was not very good. Mm. But it wasn't because it was made bad. It's just we didn't like the flavor. Right. What was it? Crab cakes. Crab cake sliders. Yeah, not yeah. good. We didn't like them, but you know maybe other people do. It did have onions on it. But the 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 peel and eat shrimp phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The clam chowder and the bread bowl is phenomenal. Um, our friend Al oh. learned the hard way though about the bread bowl. It's like a brick you can't eat it. The the lobster roll is our favorite thing. Really good. So seafood shack high up on the list there. Uh, the next thing is Cucina del Capitano. Which I can't say that well, so I let Michelle say it. But that's the Italian restaurant. This on board. restaurant, they, I mean, you pay $15 for this meal extra, and it's it's worth every penny. So much food. Dude, Too it, much is, food. it is insane. I think um, you get more food at Cucina than you do the steakhouse. Yeah, I think so. So we took my parents there on the Magic, and they thought it was really good, but they also were like, holy cow, we're too full. Like, pro tip, if you're thinking about going there, 
Um, don't plan anything else the rest of the night because you'll be too full. We were too full. Yep. Yep. Both times we've been there. So, um, but no, uh, Cucina, great for 15 bucks ups charge. It is phenomenal. Um, like I said, we've never had anything bad there no. either. The service is top notch. And, um, I love the atmosphere because it's like dark lit. Um, it's really, you know, and they got the good, like old school Italian music. It's mm -hmm. good. It's a good atmosphere. So, and, uh, so what's the next one? Gigi's Asian kitchen. Gigi's Asian kitchen. We've eaten there once uh -huh. on the sunshine. Did we eat there twice on the sunshine now or once? I thought it was, we did, we did, uh, Kachina once oh, and yeah, Gigi's you're once. Right. Um, so Gigi's. And not now, it's not on very many ships. Yeah, which is a Travesty. shame. Yes, travesty is a better word. Um, Gigi's is very good food. Um, I'm I'm kind of a picky eater. Yeah, I know that's a surprise. Yeah, <laughs> but I am kind of a picky eater. Yeah. And Gigi's, uh, yes, I asked. I said, "Hey, can you minus this stuff?" And they said, "No." <laughs> they said, "This is the way the chef prepares it, and that's the way it comes out." And I said, good, "Okay." Though. I said, okay, I'll go with it. And, you know, I just picked around some stuff. Phenomenal food. It wasn't, it was really good. The appetizers, the the desserts were strange. Yeah. That was the, the strangest things, the desserts. Very strange. Uh -huh. But I like the menu because it shows you, like, where uh, in the area of Asia and all this or mm -hmm. whatever, like, where it's from. Like, what, what, what part of asia it's from or whatever yeah and i thought that was cool and um oh the thing that i thought was really funny is i dropped some food on a table and the lady came over with a knife and a little plate and like scraped <laughs> it on there and i was like okay uh, interesting yes it was awesome but yeah Gigi's. yeah Gigi's was really good and then the last specialty restaurant um that we i've been to i don't think josh has. i did not but i've seen michelle order a couple i've times. not been to the restaurant i've only gone to the express so we right. haven't been to a, a ship the sit down the sunshine does have the sit down restaurant but i didn't go there right but it's bonsai sushi yes and what did you think of the bonsai sushi i mean i like it well i mean is it is it is it pretty like high up there like quality wise oh it's good yeah. I mean, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, one time on the I last like the ship, sushi. well, on the last ship, um, she was really impatient for her, what was well, it? It took a long Two time. Two in a row. Oh, and then I knew she was getting impatient, so then I, I went to go get a drink, and then I came back, and the guy's over there working hard, you know, and I came back, and I'm like, man, they're, she's like, I don't know where my sushi is. I said, oh, those guys are just standing there doing nothing. And she's like, why? And she went to march up there like this. And I was like, no, I'm just joking. And she's like, oh, God. Because she was about to go yell at these dudes. No, I was sushi I was yes, you were. Gonna ask. <laughs> so, okay, so we got the list here. Um, what would is your favorite specialty restaurant off of this list? Well, can I pick something? Can I pick two? Like one for a main entree, one for a dessert? No, I mean, it has to be a place. Oh. You can't just pick two. I mean, that's against the rules here. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with Gigi's. Gigi's is your favorite restaurant? That's my favorite restaurant. Wow. I thought they had a really good, uh, like, broccoli dish that we had, which is, like, crazy to say. But they did. And then that pork belly, that was super good. I would... I'd You'd probably Gigi. choose Gigi's over most of these. Okay. I'm going to say Cucina del Capitano is my favorite. Okay. First time was a strikeout for me, but I didn't know what to order. I did. That though. was my fault. Second time I knew what to order. Phenomenal. Yeah, the chicken parm is really chicken good. Chicken parm there. is incredible. The steakhouse is really good. That is good. Steakhouse is my second because I like a good steak and they have really good steaks yeah. there. Um, the steakhouse sides for me though, like, yeah, they're lacking the sides, uh, the seafood shack. I think the seafood shack would be my third. I think probably actually for me, the seafood shack would be my second. Okay. And then the steakhouse. I'd say Gigi's is my fourth, of course. And then Bonsai I mean, don't eat. Bonsai so. though. I don't know. Maybe that's above the steakhouse for me. Because like for Michelle, like, like, cause we don't eat in the MDR. You guys know that. No. Um, for Michelle, like, 
a bonsai is kind of like a night where we're just hanging out and we don't, and I, I'm like, I'm going to go to the deli and get a sub. And you're like, well, I'm going to order a bonsai. Yeah, yeah, I'm ordering bonsai sushi. So, okay. And then we just do that. I do, do love bonsai. Right. We do a lot of separate meals. I mean, we eat together. We convene together. Yeah. But like, we don't necessarily have to like, oh, you're getting bonsai? Okay, I'll get it. No, that ain't the way it goes. Like, yeah. you go get a pizza. I'll go get a guy's burger. Or you go do this or that. That's what we do. To be honest, I really love Cucina del Capitano. Yeah. But... I always overeat there, and yeah. that's probably why it's, like, last on my list, because they just give you too much food, and I don't have control like no, that. No, she don't. <laughs> She's got to finish every morsel off that plate. I'm licking the plate. I had, like, leftovers, and I brought them, and then, like, I think I threw them away because, it, like, it started to stink the room up because of all the No, you didn't stuff. even bring it back to the room. Oh, I left it somewhere because yeah. I was like, I don't want this because, like... Why? Why? You bring it leftovers. I have back no idea. No. My favorite desserts. That are... sounds like something Bill and Amanda would do. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> have them. From my the favorite... buffet. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite desserts are from the steakhouse. They have a great cheese. Yeah. Yep. So good. Maybe we'll talk. We'll do a video talking about Carnival's best desserts. Well, it's a short list. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, we will talk let to us you know. Oh, yeah. Let us know your favorite specialty restaurant down in the comments below. If there's one we didn't mention that we missed, how could we ever miss any? Well. <laughs> You'd be like, eh, well, in the comments I said you missed this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, bye.